Hello, hello. Hel oh, yeah, you want to go first? Yes, you go first. <laughs> hello, I hello, I am Professor Ginko. Um, welcome, or welcome. Yeah, welcome to the Loho chat. I am glad to be here. Here, watching Ark the movie. Yes, so... Hello, humans and dinosaurs. Yes, this is Lafo, and today we are watching the new dinosaur documentary with Professor Ginko. So, uh, yes. So, have you watched this documentary before, Ginko? I have not. Uh, neither I have, have I. But I have heard that this this arc documentary uses a lot of dinosaur models that are pretty I terrible. Heard, and I've heard mixed things about it. Yes, I have. I've heard mixed things about it as well. And I am so excited to see what's gonna, what's down, uh, oh you know, what's, boy. <laughs> what's in store. So, the Valley of the T Rex. Yeah, is, is yeah. do you is for you the Valley of the T Rex oh, like the worst uh do documentary for you? Um, okay, so I, for those of you who don't know, I am currently doing a retrospective where I go over a lot of classic failure docs. Um, that one is definitely the worst one I have seen so far. But even then, there was a bit nice things to salvage. Like, there was, like, a geodig that was nice. A uh, couple interesting things. Um, but, yeah, it has the Scavenger X theory, which is definitely not a theory, and it's kind of a whack hypothesis. I mean, it's pretty much a fact. I mean, the T-Rex would eat scavenging meat, you know? Like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no one turns down free food. Even I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, the main thing is Hoarder argues that T-Rex was a primary scavenger in the similar vein to, like, a... Uh, a vulture, or uh, but he ignores the fact that the only animals that really are adapted to being on a primary scavenger diet are high-powered flight, like vultures and condors and things like that. Even hyenas hunt most of their food; they just are very good at scavenging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are hyenas the same as wild dogs, or are they different no, they're, animals? They're different. Um, hyenas are related to are closely related to cats. Or mostly core. Wait, they're cats? I thought they were yeah. dogs. No, they just have the same adaptations that uh, dogs do have. But what? I did, uh, cats to dogs. What? Yep. Hyenas were cats. No, they're so they're related to cats. I oh, so they're felines. I believe so. Let me check. But I do know that they're more related to cats, cats than dogs. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're feliforms. What? Yeah, they're that that is that is mind boggling. I always thought they were dogs. Mm -mm. And they wild look dogs, like the <laughs> They also hunt different too. Like wild dogs are brutal hunters. I just yeah, they, they I, I've seen them like hunt like wildebeest. Like they, they just go up their butts and like rip rip their organs yeah. out inside out. Like that that's, that's have kind like, of what could... Yeah, I just have bone crushing bites and stuff Yeah. There. They eat their bones as well, right? It's like mm -hmm. T Rex. Where they yeah, eat the they, bones. Uh, they they eat the marrow, they crunch the marrow up and everything. Yeah. The name of the documentary, by the way, is Dinosaurs with Stephen Fry. Yep. Loho can actually watch this on the big screen back behind us. Yes! Look at that. So, yeah. Uh, so, today I have very good news for you guys, humans and dinosaurs. So, we can watch this documentary on stream! Uh, uh, Hooray! I mean, I, I think so, because, like, I privated, I downloaded the documentary on my YouTube channel. And then I went ahead and uploaded that video on, as an unlisted video. And YouTube did not give me a copyright strike, which means that I mean, it's it's okay. I will not. I will not tell YouTube if you guys won't. Yeah, I mean, if if it, if it gets blocked, just 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 for the record, you can just watch me watch this thing on Twitch, right? <laughs> yeah. So just so for the also, record, so yeah. Also so the documentary uses uh, models. We're not like I'm not sure exactly what went on pre-production, but I think what would have happened was they just Google dinosaur models. Found a pirated version of the Ark, uh, the Ark models. Didn't know they were Ark models, and just used them in the documentary. And I think that's what happened. Yeah, I th I think so. That's that's my best guess as well. I mean, like, let's be honest here. It's kind of ironic that we are talking about copyright issues since they are the ones that stole the Ark models, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would be quite ironic if they did. Uh, it would be kind of funny in a um in a cosmic sort of way. Yeah. <laughs> So well then, uh, let's 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 start watching, shall we? So guys, mm -hmm. let me know that if the game, uh, if any of the volume is too loud, because like our voices yeah. need to be the main. So <laughs> you guys are here yeah. to see us react to it, like not like watch it from the get go. So <laughs> let's see. Yep. Ooh. 
Ooh. So is this is this Stephen Fry guy? Dinosaurs. Yeah, this is Stephen Fry. So like monsters. That, who is Stephen Fry? Terrifying. Like I don't know uh, who he is. I've never heard about him. Always been fascinated. He's a popular dude. What's he's a British. He's a British actor. Is he's done extraordinary creatures. He's in a lot of. He's a fair amount of stuff. We oh. I haven't seen a lot of his stuff. He's in like Black Adder. Uh, in time. Millions Sherlock of Holmes, yeah. Chelsea Cheshire Cat, Alice of Waterland. Dangerous world they live in. a fair amount. I wonder. Hmm, interesting. What would I make of them? Face to face. Oh, you can just just pull up here. It's it's really beautiful how he's looking at you know a beautiful paleod written in books, and then you go ahead and see the world literally with art models. No. Their world and move with them. <laughs> Dream, I suppose, but this is this will be interesting. Well, I must get on with my life. <laughs> Mind you. Oh, you, what, you got a black line. Oh yeah, thank you. Le oh. Thanks for letting you know. Right, there we go. Oh, there we go. Wow, beautiful. It is. Uh... Did that Diplodocus make a rapper noise? For one hundred and eighty million did. years, dinosaurs dominated our planet. At least they have feathers. In this series, I'm I mean, going to I'm be not going to bash what's obviously a little budget documentary. Yeah, but, but these kind of don't look <laughs> great. In their amazing a bit of a plasticky. World. Yeah, but it's all right. It's not too bad, With I'd say. I mean, we've seen worse. Scientific that is true. From our time. Oh wait, that 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 I, I've seen that T Rex running here from a meme. With the oh, spooky, rebel, scary yeah. skeleton the meme. I, 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 I've, I've seen that. Increase volume, please. To see right. How they evolved Wait, hold up. That is a bit too loud because I have to make it like quieter than Ginko. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I speak quiet. I'm sorry. Yeah, it it's okay. It's okay. Like the scariest predators ever to have stalked the earth. Yeah, they don't look too bad. It's just that it's weird plastic. decent, I'd say. There's a plastic sheen to it. Until yeah. the I think it's just like the plastic just kind of doesn't look uh, face of the planet, doesn't look great when it's right next to the dude. Unimaginable power. No, they all dead. Come with me. <laughs> they all dead. As I travel back in time to encounter. Speaking of the um, speaking of Ark, uh, we were just talking about dinosaur video games when we were getting ready. And, uh, man, the aisle really just did irreparable damage to the uh, dinosaur video Yeah, it really did. Ever since the aisle came out, every single game that seems to be coming out of it has, like, some sort of aisle gameplay style in mind. There are, like, three good, maybe four good dinosaur games, and, like, the rest yeah. are, like, We're walking six out of ten at best. I'd say. Yeah. Like, own class of... Fossil Fires, Jurassic Park, Operation Genesis, In this series, uh, I'm going to travel Jurassic Park Evolution, the eras of the and, uh, Oh, you mean Steam games in general? No, I'm saying Jurassic. just games in general. Uh, like, yeah, good dinosaur games. Yeah. But where did it all begin? Uh, like, I don't, there's not a lot of good ones. I'm venturing to the really. dawn of the dinosaurs. To Parkosaurus, Parkosaurus is good. Yeah, Parkosaurus is good. It's just pretty quiet. Oh, what's the aisle? Oh, you're better off not knowing then. Oh, your mind has not been tainted yet. Yes. It Don't look up the aisle. Just it is ignore a it. Video game where you it's the worst thing to ever exist. And walk around, and every single dinosaur video game copied it, and that I'm is why every other dinosaur, dinosaur video game is either shovelware really or bad. The exactly. Golden age, the Jurassic. But I mean, yeah, like the Jurassic. Which might put you in mind of a <laughs> certain movie franchise. I'm on the western side of Pangaea, in an area that will one day become North America. Also, yes, uh, props to a great di dinosaur documentary name, Dinosaur. Familiar, yeah, definitely not gonna get confused with Dinosaur, or Dinosaurs, or Dinosaurs. Yeah, there is, uh, no flowers at all. What a Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, watching these documentary with us. With the bros. And the late oh, that's an arc! <laughs> that's an arc! <laughs> that's an arc, <laughs> <That's an arc, laughs> PT! Why is it in the Jurassic? First one of the night. <laughs> there it is! What is a documentary that is a Christian we all have in our starts? Yeah, it's a very philo philosophical question. What is a documentary, right? I 
I, I wonder... mean, strictly speaking, I mean, really depends. I mean, like, is a book a documentary? I mean, it's a document. Like in film, on film, for like education purposes. This is Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Diplodocus, go. Woo, Dippy! She's, um, female. Don't ask me how I know. But she is. How do you know? He just Massive. knows. Big lass. You know, it's only when you're standing next to one that you get a real sense of just how huge these creatures are. It, it rolls like why? Yeah, that is that is that is very interesting question. Is, because, oh yeah, there you see more RPTs just flying off in the distance. Story there we go. And from beautiful. To nose, twenty-six meters. That's like three double-decker buses, only longer. That three double-decker comparison. I I've heard that before. As a, it is a very British comparison because I don't yeah. think they have double decker buses. Yeah, exactly. Like it's it's a, such a very specific comparison. Like double decker bus. Like ex if you're not living in England, like where yeah, do you I mean, see a double to decker fair, bus? To be fair, the American equivalent would be like football fields or hamburgers. I mean, you know, like I mean, at least hamburgers we can find them here. <laughs> I mean, it's a more realistic comparison. <laughs> But cheap low budget documentary is this? Uh, a it's new dinosaurs. <laughs> Steven with Stephen Fry. Yep. While what is today North America was home to the magnificent armor-plated Stegosaurus. Will we see the Arc? I've heard the Arc Stegos in this. And right yeah, look at that! Look at that! There's more Arc PTs. They're just flying. They're just chilling. Until their stamina runs years, out and they have to land. How many years did dinosaur live? That is a good question. Uh, we actually have evidence for that. Uh, with growth rings and certain dinosaurs. I don't know exactly which ones, and the only age sizes we do have are from those that, like, you know, died. If we had them in captivity, theoretically, they would live longer. But, like, let me see. Like, I know T Rex is one of the more excessive yeah. study for obvious reasons. I think Supersaurus also had a uh, bone cut. I remember hearing about that. Ah, 28 years, I think, was the maximum age that they found for a T Rex. Is it? It, yeah, that's Sue, right? Sue was the bone that got cut. Probably. Yeah, I think. Or was it Scotty? I, I'm sure it, I knew about that before Scotty came out, so that's probably Sue. For most of the Triassic, the climate of the Earth is hot and arid. Because, like, similar to, like, wooden rings, dinosaur bones have rings as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For every, for every year a dinosaur lives, they have another ring on yep. their bones. At the time, Vast volcanic eruptions covered swathes of the Earth in lava and sent carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere skyrocketing. The resultant greenhouse effect ah, yeah, so caused mega monsoon rains to would not be a, a dinosaur, any dinosaur meteor without inexplicable volcanoes. Let's yep. go. This I mean, which is technically right. I mean, since volcano volcanoes yeah. were quite active. Yeah. Which the documentary also says. <laughs> yeah. Were too slow to adapt to, causing mass extinctions. But those early you know, dinosaurs. I like dinosaurs as much as the next guy for obvious reasons, but like, man, where's our Triassic and where's our like early age of uh, mammal stuff? And it suggested that these it's always a quotation of the Jurassic. It's never yeah. the whack never the, tri never the Triassic, really. That is, that kind of sucks. I mean, even like, there is like a game called Fossil League, which just skips the entire part of the Triassic as well. And then they just add in all the Triassic dinosaurs I, to Jurassic, so... <laughs> I cannot, I mean, I can, but it is unfortunate that you skipped uh, Falsifier's Champions, because you can't get a Tennis Strophus in that game. Yeah, I, 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 like, I played that, like, a, a long time ago, like, before uh, I started streaming, like, once. Yeah. But, like, it was much hard to get, like, thumbnails and stuff, so I had... I, I will yeah, settle for the Frontier, I might play uh, Fossil Fighters Champions afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, the older the game is, the like the less quality it is, and which yeah. will prevent people from enjoying the game because it looks like shit. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, um, the false virus community is at the point where if you're playing the first two games, they'll in inexplicably like watch you because no one else watches that. Or no one else plays yeah. that. Game. Wow, is that a beautiful walk, Allosaurus? <laughs> 
Longer than a pickup truck and weighs in at two and a half tons. That's an American. Unlike that's an American description right there. Exactly. This scary like, monster goes why don't you talk about how many legs. British it's rings it, legs, the Allosaurus is long? How many London eyes is Allosaurus is worth? <laughs> how many pints of beer served to you by a by a pack, by a fairly hefty bartender is this way? And yeah. It looks like he might have found a time. Hello was having a stroke. I mean, I would I would be having a stroke as well if I was him. <laughs> like oh no, this Allosaurus is suicidal, I think. I feel these models are very when they have the models stay still, they stay still. Yep. It's kind of like kind of uh weird. Cuz like it's they don't even like do a bit of moving. They just like T pose practically. I've like, see, it's just like the, it's just. To a magical, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they they probably animated this in Blender, right? Dinosaurs Maybe. Into I mean, but then also like people can like place. do do well with today, Blender. So. No better, yeah, people can do well with Blender. I've seen something about Blender. We're in the Jurassic period, about 155 million years. You said that like 10 years. minutes ago, man. You don't have to say it again. <laughs> Ah, rather majestic Diplodocus over there. But Diplodocus is intimidatingly large. The size alone is a great defense. So, I really wish they would stop like showing the Arc Pteranodons. Like, yes, I, see, I get, I get it. There's Arc Pteranodons. You don't have to rub it in my face. <laughs> Oh, Let's it's Big go. Al! Oh, Big Al! Yeah, Jim Arinsony, my boy! Stefan Lautenschlager has been studying its biomechanics to try to discover how... Yeah, I'm, I mean, they actually said that Big Al was, like, a female. This is a full I, believe, I believe they said the pelvis was large like a female. Allosaurus. What's the age rating? Well, old enough for you to watch. <laughs> yeah. I'm not so like, sure. If you're asking about the, you're asking about the documentary, case of uh, off I think it it's I think it's like or is there something else for everyone. If you're asking about the stream, it's, well it's up to Lofo. <laughs> I don't know if he wants to do a special <laughs> spicy Valentine's I mean, I don't like really that. have like I mean, I do some innuendos from time to time, but serrations along the edges similar to a steak knife and ideally suited to Yeah, steak knife. There it is. <laughs> We like knife, let's go. Classic, classic comparison. Like we, we, we definitely like for like you know this is a series, right? So next, next before the next video star, like before the next episode is out, we should make a bingo sheet at the start of the stream, and we should have the cross them out. <laughs> we have to do that. <laughs> we have to do that. <laughs> Generating a force of just under. Oh, oh. there it is! The atrocious there skull! It there it is! For the well, no! What is there literally was a. Com there was. There it is! There, there is a skull, and you would just compare it like. Oh! Don't show us the actual skull if you're gonna. Oh, they're gonna do it again! <laughs> so weird. Why? So weird. Use this model! <laughs> The audacity! Oh, I think they drew the axe theory. Yeah, the axe theory, which probably like isn't even like like isn't even like considered valid. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a rogue. Actually, uh, acted to these like fridge theories or whatever. Look at that! That it's got muscles in his eye. His eye is filled with muscle. Lofo, you're telling me you don't do eye day? <laughs> I don't! <laughs> that model feels stretched. That's, that's like a thigh, that's like a thigh seed, uh, jaw stretch right there. Yeah, <laughs> they stretch the model more than it has to. So Allosaurus would open its mouth wide and slash down on its prey with its upper jaw like a meat cleaver. Which, by the way, isn't even like you know, like nowadays, like don't, isn't like the most like it, you know most paleontologists think that it actually you know had a, a decent bite force. 
Yeah, like, like, back in I the day, it was like a thing. But... I wonder, like, like around two thousands, I think it was made from pushback from the dinosaur renaissance. But around two thousands, like a lot of stuff, like Dilophosaurus, Allosaurus, other non T Rex dinosaurs, were said to have a weak life force. It's a bit like a snake. And then, like, they kind of revalued them as of recently discovered that they had a decent fight force. Yeah, because I ever learned about the axe theory back and uh, 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 what was it? The the the, 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 the documentary where it hunts down the dryosaur, the red one. Uh, oh, the, yeah, that yeah. one. Uh, the, 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 what was it? Universal dinosaur Revolution? No, no, no. Is an expert on planet Dinosaur. Yeah, that's what was the one. Planet Dinosaur. Yeah, there's Planet Dinosaur. I think they might have mentioned it, maybe, jaws to uh, test how in other stuff, but yeah. John I saw Planet Dinosaur, dinosaur recently. I'm just surprised how good it held up. I've history. really only grew up the Walking With series, like the BBC and stuff, and, like, Dinosaur of America, too. I love that Dilophosaurus from when Dinosaur Room to America. Yeah, the sound, key. the sound is just amazing. Right. It's like it's like from Monster Hunter. It is yeah. crazy. Oh, they're gonna use this metal like reconstruction of it to bite down on an pineapple. Uh, what was it called? Watermelon. Yes. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen this since uh Montus Resurrected. <laughs> yes, i Montus Resurrected! Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, they are Camptosauruses. What, what are they Dryosaurs? No, they're Camptosaurs, yeah. Because it's yeah, they're always they they were like pictured with stegosaurs, right? You're right, you're right. They are Camptosaurs, not Dryosaurs. Yeah. How we believe I've also seen. Attack. Oh, it was also in Truth about Slash Killer Dinosaurs too. I was just watching that recently. That was oh yeah, really yeah. yeah. Wasn't that was, yeah. was Truth of the Killer Dinosaurs the uh the one with two parts, one with T Rex versus Triceratops and Beetle no. versus Raptor? Because yeah, 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 yeah. they used the Metal yeah, T Rex that was a, that was model too. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing because I'm currently watching the 2005 video. Oh. I'm kind of behind in my document. Oh. I'm kind of behind in my documentaries. Um, I'm watching that one, Walking with Monsters, and T-Rex, A Dinosaur in Hollywood. I love A Dinosaur in Hollywood. That one is my favorite of those, like, interesting minor documentaries. Have you seen one before, Lovo? No. Okay. So, it's like a documentary that goes over uh, the T-Rex in film only. And so it's basically talking about the cultural impact of Oh, that is interesting. It, yeah, it is very interesting. And uh, there's never been a documentary like it. But it goes about, it's really fun because it goes about it like it's a, uh, like it's one of those actor uh, biopics where they go and interview people around. Oh, and talk about <laughs> it's mouth just dropped. <laughs> hey, Arcturus. On. How's it going? <laughs> Let's go. I, I wonder what they were thinking when they made the iron model of the Allosaurus jaw. Like the people who like were, who were making that clearly already knew that the Allosaurus theory was like outdated. Like, but like, I mean, yeah, probably the people who were writing it, but the people yeah. who were animating it probably not. So, yeah, I mean, they made this entire huge metal like jaw of the Allosaurus. So, yeah, it really makes you think. Like, I mean, yeah, I know it's outdated, but hey, metal dinosaur saw go vroom vroom. <laughs> Why well, might as well make it? Primarily by just being really enormous. So this is an animal that's maybe thirty or forty tons. Whereas our Allosaurus here is maybe more like fifteen tons. So it's going to be really hard for it to Big take thing. down. I think I remember like this. Ors was showed me like a thing, and I think they mixed up the earlier. They said, uh, I think they said Diplodocus was 15 tons, and then now they said it was 30 tons. They kind of like messed up their numbers there. Yeah. And of course, the tail is another thing that it might have used to defend itself against predators. Yes, I, I remember someone, uh, yeah, or someone said in the comment section that uh, the Allosaurus, the terrible Allosaurus skull looked like that of uh, SAP. And yeah, there is an Allosaurus SAP, so. mm -hmm. a, f a model bone Allosaurus SAP, which uses this the picture of a Monlophosaurus for some reason. <laughs> Interesting. I remember there's that one SAP that's like that Lost World. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about that as well. Uh, that, that was my favorite, one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Lost World, I mentioned this on my own stream, but so, ah oh man, I want to do something for September um, this year. I want to do, we'll see if I have enough funds and time to do it. What is it? I would like to do a kind of uh, fictional review of like this Lost World, right? Where it's like, it's like a classic Lost World, right? But it's um, animals that have just evolved there, into niches. There we go. Finally, the Allosaurus moves. Like this guy's been sitting there for like ten minutes now. 
T posing in the corner. Just T posing in the corner. Oh, he fell. At least it wasn't on a log. That is true. It don't people think most of the time if a dinosaur fell, it was probably fatal. Why would you go in front of it? It's literally begging itself to it be killed. Kicked. It should be dead. Like, it was, it was like biting his neck, trying to get it all the way to the neck. <laughs> like, what would you think that would happen, Allosaurus? <laughs> I knew that the Allosaurus was suicidal. I mean, I would be too if I looked like him. Oh, he's eating the ferns right in front of the Allosaurus. He's literally well, just... It's the equivalent this? of dabbing. <laughs> After a kill in Fortnite. <laughs> just eating plants right next to the dinosaur. So, it's alive uh, still. The Diplodocus seemed to be deploying its tail and just the sheer weight and mass of its uh, but, yeah. turned and twisted. So basically, like, uh, picture, like, a fictional lost world, world. like, yeah, similar to, like, uh, similar to, like, right. kind of, like, Skull Ooh, Island or whatever. Oh my god, I can count the pixels. What the hell? The quality just, like, dropped. To see Ooh. This. Oh, yeah, same with mine. Oh, there we go. <laughs> they must have been recording this because I downloaded yeah. this from like a YouTube video, so. Yeah, I think I think I have the same YouTube video too. Yeah, just the quality just like dropped. The quality just dropped, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so like, just like, I want to go over like a classical Lost World and then kind of like do a bit of spec Evo on how that Lost World evolved. And then like to first do it like in a kind of field note version and then fast forward to like the modern day and talk about all of them going extinct due to human intervention. Mm. The, uh, I always just very... thought that spec Evo is the, is personally, right, not to take it in a bad way, but I personally, spec Evo just feels like it's, uh, it's OC, making and sharing, but extra science added onto it. I mean, sure, why not? I, like, that's, I like, that's, I like that's what I thought, and I always yeah. thought that, you know, like, a bit cringe. <laughs> like, not that it's a bad thing, I mean, if people can do it, pull it off properly, it can look pretty nice as well, but... I, I always thought that that was pretty weird. I, mean, I don't know, I've always been a big fan of stealing your creativity show. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if it's like done well, like Google Dixon's like, yeah, he made like a proper book and you know, like if it yeah, goes yeah. big, then the, uh, like, of course, of course, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't respect any Spec Evo projects, but if it's just something that's a guy, guy made it up in his head, not that interested. <laughs> yeah, like, as I said, I would definitely have to, uh, I would definitely have to come up with a lot of, um, Stuff. Like, I would probably commission several artists yeah. to do various uh, yeah. sketches and stuff. Oh, that's why you said funds, huh? And, and, do and, and like, do the proper Prefer research to make sure stuff is right. But, uh, yeah, so it would be something that would take a while, but it's something that I really want wow. to do. That was something, isn't it? The way she used a tail. Very yeah, interesting. Like a sort of extra leg. Especially like since I would want to, to, like, play with the way, course, dinosaurs found alive sort of thing. But kind of be like, oh yeah, um, the that like if dinosaurs were to be found to um, still alive, they would probably go extinct anyways off. because we have a horrible track it's record at Megafon. But even the largest land animal. So like, so just questioning: Would the Plotocus actually be able to like rise up on its hind legs? Because I've seen people ah, say that it couldn't. It. Oh no! Well, was that was that just for the Brachiosaurus? I think it was for the Brachiosaurus. Yeah, the Brachiosaurus but couldn't stand up. People go back and forth on if it's like three quarters of a ton if they could, they, they could or not. Yeah, I've heard conflicting opinions. Almost impossible given mm -hmm. how small mm -hmm. its head is. So, what's its secret? It's gonna swallow stones, right? It has to swallow stones. Well, firstly, she didn't really chew her food. Instead, she had a really long gut and friendly microbes to break it down for her. So, little energy wasted on digestion. But her second and biggest energy saver lies with another ingredient vital for life, okay. oxygen. Yeah, there and we go. That, there we go. We need to look inside our diplodocus. 
mammals like you and me breathe air in and out. You know, this 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 this, this, this Diplodocus model isn't too bad, I'd say. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think it's just weird when it like freezes. I mean, I think it's just like weirdly animated, but like the model itself is doesn't look too bad, I'd say. Yeah. When she breathes in, air goes into the sacs at the back of her body. When she then exhales, the rear sacs flood her lungs with fresh air. That's like the air sac when system, right? All the dinosaurs have it, right? Yeah. Her lungs is passed into the sacs at the front. It's really and weird how human, like, I wish humans had this kind of thing as well. Like, the, 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 this breeding system is so good because you can just keep running and not get tired. Where else, like, you know, yeah. humans but get then again, tired we have, easily. We have sweat though. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd say it was a trade-off. I mean, it's not really a trade-off because, like, it's not like we could evolve this because it evolved separately. Yeah, it's not like this got, you know, it got replaced by our lungs. You know, like humans, like, never in their history or lineage, never evolved these. So. Which allowed yeah. them to fly like birds and like crocodiles have that. Do crocodiles yes. have that? Uh, I think they do. Amazing. I'm not sure. I remember I, seeing I some sort of. I would assume it's ancestral arcsaurs. Yeah, I think so because I think I've seen a comparison and between a bird, a crocodile, and a majungasaurus. So while she's grazing peacefully. What? So now that I question it, why is it always majungasaurus, right? Like. Early is it just me, or have you realized that a lot of like comparisons with dinosaurs with other animals, like it's usually the Jungasaurus? Jungasaurus is cool. Of course, it is cool, but like, why Majungasaurus? Because I don't think Majungasaurus has oxygen things have been found. It's, it was Aristeon, the Megaraptor, with, which has the ancestors and seeing things we haven't seen ourselves before. So we've had a lot to of. To be fair, every every single documentary has Reeves animation. Long yeah, exactly. To, to like, what point, though? Reptile, these unassuming bones turned out to be something very special indeed. This rather insignificant-looking specimen is actually the only evidence that we have for this enormous great group of animals, the dinosaurs, first appearing on Earth. These are the remains of That's the like earliest dinosaur yet discovered. Ooh. But what is this? Oh, he... was a dinosaur? The biggest clue actually comes from this bone here. This bone is called a humerus. It's the upper arm bone. And what makes it a dinosaur is this huge flap of bone along one of its edges. Other reptiles that live alongside dinosaurs, crocodiles and their relatives, lack this feature. So we are looking almost certainly at the earliest dinosaur. Good shot. Yep. That is actually because I think because dinosaurs walked on like upright. So they, they could have like the arms stick side to like their bodies. the lake it was discovered. <laughs> So once we'd identified those... I thought for a minute it was going to go into the mo mo most extreme music. I had like a brief jump scare. The origin of the uh, no. ...actually started to come together pretty quickly. <laughs> With just an upper arm and six vertebrae to work from, Nyasasaurus... I gotta oh, say, I'm Nyasasaurus. surprised yeah. in this documentary. Yeah. It's not the yeah. best I've seen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when can we yeah. get like a... You know, someone needs to do like a cat girl dino VTuber that's just in Nyasasaurus. Yeah, they should just make the they make they should just make it yes. Reptiles it shared the world with. What's what's wrong with what's happening to his skull? That guy had had a weird face. That distinguishes them from all other reptiles. That is very rude. Is that they went walking on two legs only? I mean, but it's a fact. Also, yes, this is the stolen assets documentary. Yes. And this really opened up a huge variety of new ways of life that were previously open your Twitch inaccessible chat too, to the other four-legged reptiles. Yeah. It's okay. I, I mean, I got both, both covered. So. Weight, <laughs> yeah. To move faster, I want to be included in the. Efficiently. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. One of the key features Why not? Are you gonna follow you on Twitch? I can't remember if I do or not. And with success came a great opportunity. Look at that! Look at that idea. skull! It's like it's like because jaw is like fused to his like small, bottom jaw and stuff. They say, from little acorns. Giant oak new dinosaur tree. appeared in a documentary. So on the Is Nyasasaurus yeah, new? Like, where was Nyasasaurus discovered? I've, I've known this guy for a, quite so some time. Much later I think it's the first time it's been in a documentary. Much, I mean, much well, for how many documentaries have been like, like have been around? And they reached those quite large body sizes. It was discovered back in 20, uh, 2012. So that was like 10 years ago. Incredible to oh, I do not follow you. Well, there you go. You have a new follower. Congratulations, Lofo. Yeah! Woo! But you haven't followed me yet? I follow you on YouTube. You haven't followed me yet on Twitch? I follow you on YouTube, okay? With our Diplodocus and Allosaurus friends. 
Every time I catch you, myself, haven't done that. And even after defeat, every time I catch myself, stuff, it's always unusual. I was wondering why you never showed up in my Twitch streams. Ah! But it looks like to be fair, uh, when I followed, when I did the, when I followed you, it was like you know, back when you only streamed on a. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that is true. I, I recently started oh, back on Twitch. He's off into the woods. No doubt, somewhat intimidated by the herd. Well, maybe our paleontologist Susie Maidment can tell us whether Diplodocus really lived together in groups like this. Also, yeah, girl, it's this is the stolen asset documentary. We were watching Ark the movie. Yes, Ark the documentary. The Arcumentary. Arcumentary. They live together in groups. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Lots hey, it's the the the, 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 the oh, carnivorous dinosaur hunt T Rex roar. <laughs> we can think right, I, I'm a master at identifying dinosaur calls from video public I media. <laughs> Although I'm not so sure about what animal it actually the sound is. There is more direct evidence that these giant beasts <laughs> really did live in herds. <laughs> and it's on our doorstep, on the Isle of Sky, off the west coast of Scotland. You know, speaking of dinosaur documentaries, uh, wasn't there like a documentary that was all During about dinosaur reproduction? Sky was totally different. I have never heard about that one. Subtropical, more like the Canary Islands or Florida. And it was I've, this paradise. Guys, help me out here. I am pretty well, sure. I have never that. heard about that. And dinosaur researcher Paige DePolo. Let me know. Let me know. I mean, let me see. It, it, had like, it had a punny name. It had a very punny name. Not the fossil. What, Tyrannosaurus Sex? I think that was it. Wait, what? That was it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was it. Wait, no way! No way, I just guessed the name! There it is! Our Stegosaurus! Let's go! Yes, it was called Tyrannosaurus Sex. I, I, I am baffled! The diameter of this track is about 50 to 60 centimeters. That's about the size of a car tire. It was in 2010. So imagine I can include so this in in the Ginkgo retrospective if I really wanted to. The size of a car but I kind of don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> dinosaur was roughly the size of about three elephants put together. Eventually, they would get even bigger. And I'm, sur the I'm surprised you just... <laughs> it sounds like a fat... It does sound like it. <laughs> I'm surprised none of you guys have heard of it at all. I did not. That's why I guessed the name. Is that they're not just from individual animals? I'm half expecting like, okay, Mauzilla. Oh god, what the hell is wrong with this? The walk cycle. It's like the walking animation is so weird. It's like it's like a Roblox model. It's very unfortunate that this documentary is more known for like the arc. Uh, controversy because there's so many you there's so many like paleontologists on like twitter stuff like that that are like hey check me out i've helped out on this documentary and then like it's the one with the stolen arc models kind of, like unfortunate like that that stegosaurus scene earlier just looked like what like one of these you know test videos that showed what arc wasn't like in unreal engine 5. <laughs> that was literally just one of the scenes <laughs> Nice lightning, but like, well, uh, with art dinos just walking. Seem to be leaving their mark too. And I suppose there were other times that really. Okay, Lofo, well, you put Brian Ford and uh, David Peters in a room. Who walks out? Uh, well, there's some behavior going yeah. on here. Well, um, what are hmm. they doing? I don't know. They look quite I don't know. Oh, like, you think they want isn't Brian Ford them? kind of <laughs> chunky? Isn't That's isn't true. David Peters more I like slender? In so you're no saying David Peters could beat him in a fight? Way, I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've seen David Peters stand stuff in a, in a, in like, in like, uh, in like a gym. You know, that's a very, you should make it like, we, like if you don't make a video, I will make a video. <laughs> if Brian J. Ford and David Peters fought versus who wins, like, like in an actual, like, physical battle. <laughs> hey man, that's a, Not just you can do that. Oh, that's content for you. That's a very interesting video idea. If you don't mind, I will take it. <laughs> so it could be that the dinosaurs here 
were also using they were both oh, out, outlandish energy. but who's the who has the stronger theory and of course, by that i mean like physical stronger theory <laughs> So maybe they are using them as some sort of oh, visual Oh, is the whiptail? Is the whiptail theory? Device. Well, isn't the whiptail theory defunct? De Peters would be squashed. But Peters has been stanced up. Just delight the eye of a potential mate. They may have been. I remember everyone was going crazy like yeah, two years ago when Peters that picture of Peters in, in the gym showing and people realized that Peters wasn't like actually had like a good amount of muscle definition on him. Oh really? I I've never seen him at that picture. Ah, oh, God, let me try and find it. Passion I've never I seen remember it. it because like Edge posted a thirst trap soon after saying that's that's not uh that's not uh mostly this is <laughs> Edge <laughs> <Edge. laughs> Right, it seems like there's a lot of paleo folk out there that are good with exercise. Jack Horner? <laughs> Do we add in the player okay. three to the list? Uh, Jack Horner? <laughs> I feel like we, Jack Horner, I don't feel feels as bad, but if you want to put Jack Horner in there, you could. I mean, ja it's, for Jack them. Horner, it's less about the an theories so and just just what he just does as a person. Like that is true. I mean, if you think about what Jack Horner did, like he, I mean, he, doesn't he discover like Mayasaur and stuff? Like he did some very good like stuff when it comes to Palio stuff. But then, then you have you know you know that stuff. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You also have the uh... a stiffener for the tail because it has. Can't find it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you have the um, I mean, he also has Peters with a lot of a week, not Peters, uh, Horner just has a lot of kind of goes crazy, so like, like with the uh, like with the Draco X theory, and he has like other theories where he like takes like a dinosaur and like two different dinosaurs and says, like, one is like, do not form the other, yeah, that one too. But I feel like Dracorex is likely a baby. Like, I feel like that is right, but Taurosaurus? I don't think so. Yeah. The other side of Jack Horner. Like, I have a, like, you know, a lot of people on Paleo Twitter don't like Jack Horner at all, and I believe it's completely fair when you go to the disgusting side of him. Yeah. Dating and marrying a grad student. Why that is weird. Um, but like in terms of his theories, you know, it's kind of mixed bag. He gets some good, some bad. some bad. You can't just. I, think it's I mean, even I think even Jack Horner himself like took it back contest. when it comes to uh, the scavenger theory. He did not. He just says it's possible for both. Yeah, I mean, I mean, isn't that he, practically taking it back since I mean, his theory yeah, was like he's, just he's still confident enough in it to sell it as an NFT, like not even like six months ago. So. Oh really? Well, yeah, he sold like it. He don't. He sold yeah. a scavenging Rex and NFT. I mean, just because he's selling that doesn't mean like he supports fully supports that it was just a scavenger, right? I don't know. But if all goes well, our female will soon be laying. Some yeah, like as I said, like I don't think Horner is like the worst in the world. He's not. He's not up to par with Peters and Ford for sure. Yeah. This. If I had to pick one, it would be Jack Horner. Yeah, if I had to pick the, one of those three, it'd be Jack Horner. I mean, he, okay, at least I think, he's useful as I a think, paleontologist. Okay, speak, speaking of which, though, so Ford versus Peters, right? Peters did a lot of good stuff early on and then went off the deep end. Ford did only one bad thing. What would you rather take? <laughs> early good with a lot of bad after? Or one really bad thing? I feel like... Like... Peters is just worse than, uh, you know, than uh, Brian J. Ford because, that's like, for most of, even for like most people, Brian J. Ford, his theory is just so outlandish. The point is just hilarious. Whereas David Peters and his reptileevolution.com, like, it messes up Google search results. Like, it just yeah, fucks up with a lot of people. Yeah, the algorithm. Like, also, yeah, Horner married like a 19-year-old graduate suit when he was like 65. Yeah. And she was his student. He was like, she was like 19, right? Yeah, 19. Yeah, he was like 65. Oh, that's just that's so weird. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, it's weird. Like, I would have been as weirded out with it if it wasn't like his straight up student. Is that it? But like, there's a weird like power. Uh, oh, pixel drop. Size, it would be a bit bigger than that. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised they won't. They didn't go for the Obi poster theory thing. Oh yeah, that's true. Huh. How can it produce so small an egg? And how can a creature so big come from so small an egg? Egg bowling, egg bowling. An answer lies in a surprising place 
on our very own south coast with a set of fossils so rare and valuable that their exact location Ooh. has to be kept secret. Ooh, Some what of is the it? Best preserved dinosaur eggs ever discovered. Is that the Mesospondylus Looking egg? After them is Dr. John no. That, no, Mesospondylus I've never, from Africa. I've about this. The this is like University Museum. This is like a series of eggs in a private collection. Oh, is it? Oh, are they private? Millions of years. They are private. To yeah. Something uh, astonishing. Something that could tell us not only how dinosaurs raised their young, but why. Yeah, the you know, the, it was still moist and this warm. The eggs would have looked like. Oh, come on, don't don't make it more disgusting than it already is, man. <laughs> such a beautifully preserved dinosaur embryo. It's just just so upsetting. Like every single decent fossil find, it's just is private collection, private collection, private collection. Like fuck yeah. that. It even contains a perfectly preserved baby dinosaur head. Oh wait! Is, oh, that's a sore pot with the beak, right? To look down the microscope ah. and see this little baby dinosaur, eight million years old, staring back at you. I've it's heard about a sore pot. Yeah, that is the that is the sore pot with the beak, right? And in the lower jaw Maybe. here, you can see some of the little teeth, and it's immediately obvious that these are herbivorous teeth. They have a surface for grinding down the vegetation. Like egg teeth. Like they'd have like egg this beaks. This baby dinosaur would grow into a... Oh no, that's a therizinosaur? Wait. Plant -eating that's a therizinosaur? A therizinosaur. Baby Wait, what, 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 what the fuck did he just say? Therizinosaur? <laughs> that was very... Uh, <laughs> fucking what? <laughs> I mean, I, I've got, of course, like, I mean, yeah, he's not... No, I, I know, like, he's not a paleo dude, but, like, there is dinosaur? British. I mean, who the hell says that there is dinosaur? It's British pronunciation, too. I've never heard anyone say that way. Several of the different bones of the skull are fused. This would mean that... But, yeah, it makes sense why they hid where they discovered it, because Mongolia. But, yeah, they're in a private collection, too, which is Oh, this, this was Mongolian? Oh, like, didn't they say that was from, like, uh, south coast? I thought this was, like, European. So I was like, no, well, if, it, if it's Therizinosaur, it has to be Mongolian. Isn't a Diplodocus? To answer whether their babies might have fended for themselves like Therizinosaurs did, scientists turned to another clutch of dino eggs found in Argentina. Winkle. <laughs> this time laid by a Titanosaur. Oh, there it is. I was wondering yeah. where to appear. Oh, there, there we go. they are. There they are. These were some of the very largest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we definitely do need laws to make private fossil collections illegal. Yeah, but yeah, especially like skulls, as time goes on and more and more rich people want to buy to things. That they had stereoscopic uh, vision. Definitely is something that is very concerning. Forage for food immediately on hatching, most likely similar to modern day. I was wondering where the Titanosaur egg would appear. Of eggs, and then just leave them. About time. Numbers then. Certain number will survive. Me and the lads going to get Arby's at 3 a.m. <laughs> so, what about our Diplodocus? What does our paleontologist Susie Maidman think? We don't have any nests from Diplodocus themselves, but from other sauropods, we know that they laid quite large nests with quite a lot of eggs in. And of course, the babies had to grow up very quickly. Arc moment. It really is an arc moment. And grow to something that was 30 or 40. It's, it's like the, it's like the really pointing meme time. where like all the people oh. point to a screen. Oh. <laughs> like me and the boys every time an arc dinosaur appears on the documentary. <laughs> So, so Lofo, this happened to eat, that's in uh, this, 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 this episode is about the Jurassic period, yeah, that's right? A good point. Yeah. I don't actually really know where and it uses arc models. So could you say this is Jurassic Arc? Good one there, good one. It wasn't. Good one. I love that jokes. So the evidence suggests Diplodocus would lay lots of eggs and then abandon them to look after themselves. How many surveys of scrambled eggs could you get from a Diplo egg? Enough to get um, diabetes. As well as for Imagine if you use primal carnage models. Them. You know, uh, speaking of that, that, I know that I know, I know of a game that you reuse primal carnage models, like Chimera Land. Remember, remember that game, folks. Maybe best if I <laughs> leave her to get on with it in peace. I don't remember Chimera Land. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's something that we did on our channel. 
to tell a story of a new era in this dinosaur planet and to bid farewell to the Jurassic. Horosaurus was a uh, major form of Triceratops that has been disputed. Epic. Yeah, that is true. But like back then, like back when the theory was ca into the came out, like that wasn't like a thing. Oh, it's, uh, it's Tenontosaurus versus the Thanonychus. Is it? I, I think it is. In the last episode, it's going to be T-Rex versus Triceratops, right? The old... Let's go. Yep. Well, so Lofa, how did you, uh, how did you enjoy it? I, I think the information that was given was pretty, you know, decent. basic. It like, was decent. Yeah, it was, it's not like prehistoric planet levels, uh, for sure. But I feel um, like, you know, like, it's just, the documentary is just like a, like, it's like, I feel like it could have been just a YouTube video. Like, like the yeah. production quality is like, I'm par with like a YouTube video if you ex exclude like the fancy fossils and stuff like just the models yeah. and the stuff like I've seen like YouTube people make like better content when it comes to paleo stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed I it for the art say, moments. We like, did. We did as well. Like isn't this where it like, truly shines? Yeah. <laughs> That's honestly how it, I kind of forgot it existed until people were talking about it. <laughs> All the arc stuff that was going on. Um Hopefully the the future episodes will be a little better. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, they probably like heard the, you know, they probably heard the people on Twitter. But again, like I've recently realized that like people that, like they might be shitting on something on Twitter, but Twitter itself is such a minority part. Like I yeah. very recently joined Twitter myself, which is like slightly a year ago, I think. So like most people like they didn't even use Twitter. So like. There's a lot of people out there in the Paleo community and stuff like that. They don't even technically use Twitter. So Yeah. Like, but for them like, for those people who that for those people like they didn't they didn't they might not even like care about stuff, so I think um like obviously Paleo Twitter isn't the only place where the Paleo community is on. But I feel that most people would recognize the Arc models and have a similar Yeah, because um, Arc is a very popular game, like if yeah, it was exactly. like the Isle or, you know, I, I feel like I might just allow the Isle models just just out of fucking spite of how bad their game is. <laughs> like, you game is so bad, you deserve to be your models get ripped out. <laughs> I mean, you can remodel them anyways in every every second week or so. <laughs> might as well donate yeah. them. Yeah, it's about a 50-50. Like, it's definitely not prehistoric, uh planet though i know everyone's hoping it would be like oh this will be like when like people are hoping it would be like you know when back when like walking with and then it was like when dinosaurs room in america and then uh walk with beasts and then dinosaur planet with like one after the other but it seems to be kind of a bit lower budget and a bit yeah. <laughs> not as good but yeah. hopefully, the, hopefully the next few episodes will be better, and if not, we have the Netflix um, documentary to look forward to. Oh yeah, the the the, the Planet Earth one. Mm -hmm. What was it called? Yeah, yeah, I think something like that. Oh yeah, so back to the point. Like Mausola said, that Taurosaurus represented the uh, major form of Triceratops. Like back when Jack Horner gave the theory that Triceratops was a baby uh, Taurosaurus, we didn't actually find baby Taurosaurus yet. I think. So, like, that got disputed yeah. with the discovery of a baby tr uh, torso. A lot of... Horner has a lot of theories where he talks about, uh... What's it called? He, he like, oftentimes gets multiple uh, genera of dinosaurs, and then it's like, well, this could be a baby form of the other one, and stuff like that. Yeah. And, like, I, I think, you know, I don't hate Horner as much as other people do. Um, there yeah, are me quite too. a bit of... Like, I I, I do enjoy him for what he does, like, uh, yeah. in the paleontological way, right? Don't get me wrong, when don't cancel me. When he's not, when he's not, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <I mean that. laughs> uh, but yeah, like, I, like, I don't hate him. I, I respect what he did, especially during the dinosaur renaissance. But I feel like his main, the main way he does his theories, right, is that he goes out and he tries to counter what is considered mainstream, which, you know, back then when a lot of the uh, science was Victorian in nature and very, like, built on assumptions, uh, it was a lot more helpful. But nowadays, it sometimes can be a bit um, too, too, like... Yeah, that is true. Too yeah, because, you know, nowadays we have a lot more 
a lot of our assumptions are made with more facts and stuff like that. And he is still making like wild theories to shake things up when things are mostly settled. But at the same time, I respect him for what he did. Yeah. I, I, are you watch, using a VPN to watch this? No, it's literally available on YouTube right now. Yep. Yeah, it's it's literally available on YouTube. <laughs> like and like, oh, look at that. We did uh, our stream didn't get blocked. So yeah, that is that is amazing. Dinosaur documentary. You can have it. It's all there in one place. You just gotta find it. Yes. Do do. But wait, is is prehistoric? Pl uh, was prehistoric park on YouTube too? Um, that was on Daily Motion. Yeah, yeah. I feel like every bit, like documentary that is like uploaded on YouTube, yeah. we can also do it as a watch along stream. Actually, like. um, there's one, there's one YouTube, there's one YouTuber, or not YouTuber, but there's one YouTube site that has like a bunch of like classic documentaries that I've been using to rip, um, to rip video stuff for. Um, I think it's called Documentary Channel or whatever. It has like a bunch of classic paleo stuff. So, like, um, I was able to find a few of the Walking With documentaries, um, some of the specials. I mean, I'm out. not looking for, like, clips. Like, I mean, like, the entire thing, because like, we yeah, aren't going to watch he has the clips. The entire, so. He has the entire thing. He has the entire thing. Oh, we, I mean, we might give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there is... Yeah, I mean, I know for a fact, like, the old, like, dinosaur movie, like, the classic one, was it, what was it, The Lost World, with stop-motion dinosaurs and stuff? Like that, that you can actually watch that. It's, it's. I think it's public, uh, public yeah, media now. It's, it's been over a hundred like, years. I like, so. I, I don't want to sure about the legality of it, but yeah, documentary channel. Yeah, this this site right here does a lot of. Let me see. Documentary me. channel. Let me, let me see. Here, let me let me send it. Let me PM it to you. Sure. Wait, no, no, I can't, I can't because like I use like Discord thing. So. Oh, okay. What, what what's the channel name? Documentary? Documentary channel. Oh, it's literally just documentary channel? Yes. Oh, I see. The the one with twelve point one K subscribers? Yes, it is just a bunch of uh just a bunch of old classic stuff. Interesting. I I would not recommend watching it on stream for legal reasons. But They have Valley of the T Rex here! Yes, that's where I watch Valley of the T-Rex. We gotta do it. We gotta watch it together. <laughs> I mean, not today, oh, but like... I went through that hell. Yes, You're and now you have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. This 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 was a very short stream. <laughs> this was very short. I was expecting... This is less than an hour. Longer. I mean, I realized that the, that the stream was... Like, the video was only, like, 45 minutes long. So, yep. I, I, that's why I had this intro and stuff, like, you know, to keep, like, people talking. But that is... This was Dino pretty short. Dino Lab was very interesting. I did enjoy Dino Lab as a kid. I have to rewatch it for my... For yeah, my, is that uh, the one with series. the treadmill, Rex? That's the one with, um... It's kind of like a bootleg prehistoric park. Um, there's, there's, like, dinosaurs in a laboratory, and they do tests on the dinosaurs to determine, like, how, how fast they could run or if they flew or things like that. Mm. It just uses a lot of, like, computer-generated data that was new back then and just presents it in a CG thing. But it uses a lot of models from Walking With and, and um, uh, Dinosaur what? Planet and uh, When Dinosaurs Roamed America. Yeah, Dinosaur Roamed America. Dino I, I mean, Dinosaur Planet wasn't even made back then, right? Like, that was no, like it, a... it was. It was, I think. Oh, really? Oh, unless, I must be unless, thinking unless, of unless a different up with another, another one. Let me see. Let me, let me check my script, because I have it in my script. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, Dino, Dino Lab was 2006. Dinosaur Planet was 2003. Hmm. Sea Monsters of Prehistoric Adventure. I have, yes. It was pretty good. Hmm. Uh, oh, cool. wait, wait. Sea Monsters actually... Ever seen Sea Monsters Prehistoric Adventure? I haven't. I'm look. I'm planning to play the. Uh, not oh play wait. That. I'm planning on wait, watching no, that. No, on no, I have not seen that one actually. I've seen the. Um, I thought it, I thought it was talking about the um, the Nigel Mar the Nigel Marvin one. The uh, yeah, isn't that one the Sea Monsters? That's that Sea Monsters. Uh, that one. Yeah. That one is different. But yeah. There you go. If you guys want uh, to see documentaries from the nostalgic era, there yep. you go. 
there it is. So go watch the, the documentary channel. So that yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, that this was a very short stream. Like, I want to keep talking, but like with nothing to like back it up. Like the the yeah. the talking just like stopped. <laughs> yeah. Well, next time. Next time, if we watch the second episode, we definitely yeah, have we to, definitely uh, have to do that. We we'll, we'll come back uh, one episode too, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Like I I've seen a lot of people enjoy my time here. Yeah, so I I see a lot of people like that are on stream right now, and I'm very thankful of that. I feel like I should do like more you know unique stuff like this than just arc 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 <laughs> arc arc. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> New Zealand, Lost Islands of New Zealand. Like, I have it... never seen that documentary. Before. Oh wait, is is that when dinosaurs uh roamed? Like, I know there's a documentary series. I have that on DVD. Is that a documentary series with the? If, if it's if it's an NH uh, NHS series, I'd have. No, I'd it's not NHS. Have have it is a uh, documentary. I, it was Discovery, right? Like it. Mm. It was. It 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 had like it like it was based on when dinosaurs roamed something something. But it barely used any CGI. It was just mainly, mainly just talking about dinosaurs. I know there was like multiple parts of it. Like there was a North America, there was South America, there was Asia, there was Oceania. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you'd have these little fact sheets pop up with uh, dinosaur info and stuff like that. But yeah, m like they just re they heavily reused footage. And but I wished I wished I had that in my list. But then again. <coughs> I'm mainly covering the big, the big heavy hitters. Oh, but let me know, uh, Professor Genko, whenever you want to do a watch along stream because I of actually course. have most old dinosaur documentaries on my uh, thing. So I have most oh, cool. uh, documentaries as a DVD. So we can actually watch that. So that is why I actually cool. suggested you to like watch together the bone, the boneheads. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah, the yeah, entire yeah. series of that on DVD. That although be, it's like lost media true, right yeah. now. So there's a couple episodes which are lost media, and I have it on DVD. So. It would be most honored if we, like, you know, did it together on stream, but, like, I haven't yeah. got the time. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do that. I, I feel like we're gonna do, I'm gonna do it before March, so, pretty soon, mm. I think. So. Yeah, man, yeah. you know me. Always, uh, I'm always down to do these watch-along collabs with you. Yeah, me too. They're always fun. They're so always let's fun. let's see. Uh, we should raid someone. Right. Yeah, who is raidable? I don't know. Like, anyone that you follow? I let me check. I don't think so. Let me see. There's my friend. There's my friend. Oh, Kenosaur. Mm -hmm. She's streaming. She's just cool. just chatting. But uh, yeah. Uh, the only wanna... person I follow who is streaming currently is you. Oh me. Okay. Right. I guess we'll uh rate Kenosaur then. Right. Let's oh, what's go. she doing? Is she is she making a fossil? Mm. I have no idea. It, what is she doing? I have no idea. Well, we'll rate her. Right. We'll see about that. So, humans and dinosaurs. Yes. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you haven't already gone for subscribe. And until next time, may the Jurassic Spirit with you. Bye-bye. Yep. All right. That was fun. Yep.